Good morning, children. Come, today we are going to learn a new grammar topic that is has and have. Now, what is this word has and where we are going to use this word has? We have to know that. The word has is used with the singular noun in the naming part. For example, father has a new car. An elephant has big ears. That bus has two doors. Now here we can see father and elephant, bus. These are all singular noun. And we have used the word has with singular noun. Now my dear children, we can also see that this word has is used with the pronouns like he, she and it. For example, he has a red bicycle. She has golden hair. It has a long tail. These are all he, she, it are singular pronouns. So we have used the word has with them. Now, we will talk about have. Now, the word have is used with more than one noun or we can say plural nouns in the naming part of a sentence. For example, birds have wings. Now, see, we have used the word birds. Birds is a plural noun. The fishermen have big Boats. Again, we are talking about fishermen. That is a plural noun. Camels have long legs. Again, camels is a plural noun. Now, again, we can see that the word have is used with the pronouns like they, you, we and I. For example, they have new books. I have a bad cold. We have many pencils. Now we are going to learn the use of had. The word had is used with both singular and plural nouns. In the naming part of a sentence, for example, John had fever yesterday. He had a blue bag when he was in school. Now here we have noticed that had is also used with the pronouns. Pronouns he, she, it, they, you, we and I. Some more examples for you using had with pronouns. We had a big house when I was a kid. I had to go to hospital last week. Now, my dear children, now we can have some fun activity. When you visit to your neighborhood along with your parents, you can identify things around you by using has and have. For example, this park has many swings. See, we have said has because we are talking about one single park. Now, all the shops have good collection of story books. We are talking about many shops, those who are having good collection of story books. So, we have used the word have to identify. So, keep enjoying. Do this exercise given below. Thank you.